When the Murchison meteorite smashed into the interior of Australia in 1969, evidence was found that life-forming left-handed amino acids may have originated in deep space. The, the drive was just really the recognition that the meteorites might provide us the opportunity to throw some light on a really, uh, really fundamental question. Arizona State University organic chemist Dr. John Cronin and his colleague Dr. Sandra Pizzarello realized that finding amino acids within the Murchison meteorite would point to a relationship between life on Earth and life in deep space. If the organic compounds on the primitive Earth came from outside the Earth, if they were delivered to the Earth by meteorite or dust or cometary uh, infall, then this organic matter would have already had the beginnings of this excess of one-handed forms over the other, as we see in the amino acids. From deep within the meteorite, Cronin and Pizzarello extracted amino acids not found on Earth, amino acids that were predominantly left-handed, the kind that could give a kickstart to life. What we find in the meteorite is that there are small excesses of one-handed form of amino acids over the other. In other words, there is the beginnings of a selection process represented in this material which was brought to the Earth from outside the Earth's sources by a cometary or small body or dust infall, a small excess of, of one form of the amino acid over the other, 